I woke up kanina in the aftermath of Typhoon Ulysses. Walang kuryente sa ating mga kabaya. But uh, the good thing is, I do have a mini DC UPS. And uh, my mini DC UPS, you know, provides me at least a minimum of two hours of online operation. I was still able to book at least uh, two orders today, kahit walang kuryente. Uh, so, this video today is actually for me to tell you ano ba yung mini DC UPS that uh, I have sa ating store. So, so blackout sa bahay. No problem. Basta may UPS ka. So, ganito lang yung ating mini DC UPS. No? Ganito lang siya kaliit. And uh, very light. Okay? So, uh, let's try opening it and see uh, the unit inside. And inside, we also have this uh, additional instruction for... UPS installation. Uh, makakatulong yun sa kanila if they needed some rewiring. Uh, we also have yung DC cable and yung uh, AC uh, cable. Uh, meron siyang protective film para dito sa uh, shiny na bezel portion. Ito yung harap ng ating uh, UPS. You have yung dalawang uh, DC output dito. Uh, this is yung um, uh, 15, 19, at 24 volts na uh, output uh, jack. And you have yung 5, um, 9, and 12 na output jack uh, connect connection dito. You also have yung uh, push button, uh, power switch dyan sa side na yan. Uh, some ventilation dito sa area na to. Here on this side, you have yung AC, uh, kabitan ng ating AC cable. Uh, dalawang selector switches. Uh, yung selector switches na to uh, is para dun sa dalawang separate na output. So the two separate outputs, you can, uh, pwede silang sabay na mag-output. So typically, when uh, a customer will get yung unit, uh, tinatakpan ko yung isang uh, output dito ano, para uh, safer kasi uh, mostly ang naghahanap naman nito is yung ginagamit nila sa mga modem or uh, router applications nila. No? So I cover itong medyo higher uh, uh, output voltage natin, uh, 15, 19, and 24 volts output. Sa bottom, you will see yung uh, serial number, uh, some more ventilations over here. Uh, pwede siyang i-wall mount using itong uh, uh, ano na to, uh, slots na to. So, just put in the uh, two screws dun sa wall and then it, it can be hanged like that. Huh? And you also have some uh, instructions or informations here uh, regarding yung mga output natin. Uh, so, to turn it on, press and hold itong ating button dito. When you press and hold itong button na to, your UPS turns on. So, makikita natin dito yung apat na LED, uh, meaning it's fully charged at this stage. And then, naka-on din yung ating uh, dalawang output. No? So, in this case, ang nakasindi sa atin is yung uh, 12 volt na output and yung 19 volts na output. Uh, so, that would also change depending on what you select doon sa outing, output selector switch. So, if I slide the selector switch, it goes to 9, goes to 5. Alright? The same goes para dito sa ating. Uh, 15, 19, and 24 volts. So now it's on 24 volts. 19, and that's 15 volts. Okay, so put it back to uh, 19, kasi 19 yung aking ginagamit na uh, voltage dito sa aking uh, router. Okay? 
So, ganun lang kasimple yung operation niya. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for us to uh, demonstrate uh, how it operates, we would need the uh, air router to serve as yung outing load, yung DC connectors niya, and of course yung UPS. So, this is a 12 volt, 1 amp na router, no? tenda. So, I'll plug it in dun sa 12 volt na output connection. Naka-preset na ako sa 12 volts kanina. So, by the way, anong nakalagay dito? Uh, the sticker says, do not plug this uh, end into the UPS. No? So, ito kasi dalawa siyang uh, split type na connector. So, don't plug this end. Itong end na to. Uh, do not plug this end doon sa ating uh, UPS. Okay, so now what we need to do is to plug this into the load, yung ating router. There you go. And then push the uh, push button on sa gilid. Send it on. So now, as you can see, pagka push ko nung button, nag turn on yung UPS natin, nag turn on din yung ating router. Okay, and this is without yung uh, AC cable connected dito sa input side. Okay, so for you, para masabi ninyo na nakaplug na siya sa AC, mapapansin nyo itong uh, dulong LED na to, no? nag-blink siya. Kasi it is the charger char trying to charge it. O yun, naghinto na siya kasi fully charged na yung ating battery. No? So, what would happen if uh, nawalan ng kuryente? No? Nawalan ng kuryente, I just unplug this. Plug ko yung input. Alright, so I have it here. But nothing changed dun sa ating uh, router. It continuously is running. Walang glitch. No? This uh, setup, by the way, no, using yung ating 1 amp na tenda, uh, router na to. Uh, I have run this uh, test continually to see kung gaano katagal mauubos yung charge ng battery na to. So the 1 amp actually lasted uh, quite long, ano, around 8 hours. Uh, but of course, yung uh, capacity ng ating uh, UPS will depend dun sa load na ikakabit mo. No? Like uh, for my uh, application sa bahay, I do have a separate modem uh, coming from PLDT na fiber, uh, which is uh, 1.5 amps, 12 volts. And I also have an uh, Asus na uh, router, uh, which is 19 volts, 1.75 amps. Uh, so medyo malaki-laki yung kinakain na power nung dalawang uh, load ko na yun at the same time. So with that, yung aking UPS only lasts uh, around 2 hours uh, after the blackout. So, uh, there you have it. That's our uh, UPS in action.